The shitter's in the living room. <laughs> no. The shitter is in the living room. <laughs> Well, we're here at the RV and Motorhome Hall of Fame and Museum. Whoa, that was a mouthful for you. <sighs> I had to look at the sign twice to remember what the <laughs> hell to say. Such a mouthful. <sighs> I don't know what you're thinking. I've already seen a video about this. Yeah. But you haven't seen us do a video <laughs> about this. That's right. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Might have seen all the same crap, but it'll be well, fun. They rotate stuff out. That's true. Time to time. They so do there take could be some out. different stuff than the last person's video. So. Ours would be funner anyway. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Huh? Man, if this isn't vintage, I don't know what is. Got the, got the bunk beds here. Got this oh. nice green shag carpet. Yeah. Wow. The old fridge back here. Oh. This is fancy like Applebee's. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And then you got the, the master suite. Master the master suite back here. What's it gonna take to get you into whatever the hell this is? Miracle? A tetanus shot <laughs> and a lot of Valium. <laughs> I'm just this to start. And there's probably some really fun stuff in the black tank. <gasps> whoa, 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 there's whoa. stuff left over from the 70s oh, in there. No. Oh. <laughs> Allow me to give you a tour. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. The Model AA house car. Top speed, 25 to 30 miles an hour. It took forever to go anywhere. Wood burning stove, <laughs> wooden bench seat, but that was a comfortable ride. This is a 1935 Comfort travel trailer. So now, in 1935, we're traveling Comfort. Oh, there's Leslie. Yay. But now we're in the 1950s, and they're gonna let us start going inside these things. <laughs> so let's go inside and tour the 1954 Holiday, Holiday Rambler. Rambler. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. Those are stretchers. Those are litters. Those are army litters. You could pick up some casualties on your trip yeah. and bring them back with you. <laughs> Look at this. You got a fridge down here. You got a two burner stove. Oh my God. This is your lights, I guess, from back then. You even got water. Look at all the storage. Look at all the storage. It's storage for days. But that's it. The 1954 Holiday Rambler. Well, we're in the 60s now. Okay. We still don't have facilities inside these things yet. Yeah. Which is very confusing because because on the spec sheets, it talks about gray and black says, water. Yeah, but now the, there's sinks. But there's sinks. There's no bathroom. So why are we talking about black? Are we are we doing things in the sink that we shouldn't be doing in the sink? Because oh. you got to I guess you got to mush it no, through the, the holes. Get it to go down. Yeah. Put a glove on first, <laughs> then mush it down oh. the sink. Leslie would have to live in this alone. <laughs> She's the only one that can fit in here by herself. Well, yeah, I'm 5'2". Look at me in the ceiling. It is. It's a six foot ceiling. <laughs> Stop it. This is comfortable. <laughs> it's so comfortable. Oh, I could definitely camp in the 60s. <laughs> well, here's a pro tip. When you're coming out, this right here is a little lower than the ceiling. Ask me how I know. <laughs> what you waiting for? Get in. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, dude. And I'm a thin dude. Like, that's, that's crazy. That's the slimmest <laughs> door frame I've ever seen. I came in sideways. <laughs> hey, look. And they even got ivory flakes for us. How considerate of them. I've never seen a doorway like oh, that. Oh, the sink's just a tube. You got a little, a little petcock valve. Oh my God. For the sink. But there's a thing. I don't know. Either way. Hey, at least I got to say petcock on camera. <laughs> Stop it. 
Oh, that's the wee little leprechaun. <laughs> 1978, the year I was born. So, that's good. So, this 1978, is it a Class C? Yeah. It's a C? Okay. It was brand new, $14,000. So, let's take you through the 1978 Coachman leprechaun. Oh, hello, dear. <laughs> Okay. Got the little TV. What? So, it is. It was used for many years to transport Mae West from her home or hotel to wherever they were shooting, the location oh. of the sh it wherever she's shooting. An early tour bus. Yeah. Early days tour bus. And the stories indicate she had a rocking chair on the back porch where she could enjoy the breeze while being transported. Hmm. True she sat, fashion. She sat on a rocking chair while, while transported? Yeah. While she's being transported. Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Well, we're in the 80s and we're about to go into the 1985 Fleetwood Bounder. And I think the most recent owner was um, Heisenberg? <laughs> it looks like a Heisenberg. <laughs> so we're going to go in and take a tour. This is the very first model to ever have storage. Basement storage. Basement storage. Yes, this was the final working prototype. Cutting edge stuff. Yeah. Storage. This was innovative. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Smells like the 80s. Actually, pretty roomy. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. There's the sink in the bedroom. That that bothers me. Why? Well, I mean, I think if we hadn't had medical working backgrounds, it would still bother me. But to use the facilities and come out with your dirty hands. Yeah. I don't. I don't like that. You're touching stuff. Well, unless your stuff to get over here, you use the sink as the facilities. No, they're like not. Like the ones we saw before. No, they're not. Let's see what Leslie would look like washing her hands in a 1985 Fleetwood Bounder. Okay. A little bitty baby sink. Now like you can sit on the bed while you wash your hands. <laughs> if you're tired too, yes, you would just. Yeah, you just fall asleep washing your hands. Yes, and turn it off. Yeah. You put a towel here, you dry off, and you just just fall back. <laughs> <in the bed. laughs> Look, y'all, sorry about the uh, the lighting. It's dark in here, but I'm going to take you into the first bunk house. This is crazy. So look, you got you got a bed down here, but then you step up here. You go around the, the thing. So the other bunk bed's up here. But look, you go around, you step up. There's a little ladder here, a little dresser over there. And that's how you crawl up into here. This is so claustrophobic. And then once you get in there, how do you get out? This has to be only for kids. There's no way grown human beings are staying in this bunkhouse. Dude, you gotta go back there. You gotta go back there. Yeah. You gotta check it out. Oh, we're finding new and interesting ways to deal with black tanks. <laughs> What's this one got? This one's got a pump. Got the a hand, hand crank. <laughs> I don't know if it's for the actual flushing or putting water in it, or both. I yeah, you gotta that. hand crank the flush, man. All right, we're about to do a quick tour of Charles Lindbergh's RV. Wow, hand crank, water, plenty of seating options here. The bed in the back. How'd you like the tour? Uh, did you look left and look right? I did. So you, and, did, so you did the whole tour, the I complete did, tour. And I did left, right, left to make sure. Oh, you did a tour and a half. Yeah. Okay. I don't even want to glance in yet. Okay. I'm just going to give you, just by the name, it'll tell you the kind of prestige <laughs> that we are about to bestow upon you. This is the 1986 Executive. Yeah. 
Diplomat Diplomat edition. edition. I can't wait to see how fancy this thing see, is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those little chairs. Oh, wow. That's cool. This was a diplomat edition. Executive diplomat, <laughs> madam, get it right. Sorry, my bad. Can't come up in here disrespecting the executive. Sorry. Look at the TV. Ah, oh, little tube. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Wow. Oh wow. That's tight quarters right there. The shitter's in the living room. <laughs> no. -uh. The shitter is in the living room. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's right at the front door. Oh, that's terrible design. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh, you hear everything with a toilet right there next to your couch. This is a 1969 chassis mount truck camper. So it, it, the camper don't sit in the bed. The camper is actually part of the truck. I never seen anything like this before. The spare tires on the front and then you got like the camper truck's part of the camper. You got a bunk up there and then there's a uh, the seat down there. I guess you could sleep on the seat too. And then whatever else is going on here. So it's got a bunk up there. So huh. I guess you could use that for a bunk down here. Bathroom and then got all the living space back there. So this this is what evolved into the class seat. Okay. That's how the class seat came. That makes sense. Every RV we can walk to has kicked your ass in some manner. I'm getting my ass beat in here. He has banged his head. <laughs> like three times. He has banged his shins <laughs> on solid steel steps trying to walk over. He, and he's yanked himself on Look, roped off doorways. I they should give you a hard hat in here. <laughs> You're going to oh, come lady. out with more brain damage than you came in with. I just cracked my head like hard on that thing right there. That's for the second time. God. Well, what does $5,000 get you in 1967? I'm so glad you asked. Let Leslie show you what $5,000 will get you in 1976. Get you a Winnebago. Then it'll get, get you a bunk. Then it'll get you that. Then it'll get you that. With that. Oh, uh, to get you that? <laughs> All day and twice on Sunday. <laughs> There's a sink in there. Tiny. A little storage in there. Another bunk up top. I think I'm just, I think I'm just so accustomed to the, to our RV that I feel like. Our generation of RV? That's why, no, I'm, I'm t you're asking why it's kicking my ass. Uh -huh. Like I just ran into the stove in here. Yeah. And you're like, you can't even, you're like a bull in a china shop. Yeah, you are. Well, I think that I'm trying to explain myself. I don't think that's possible. I mean, I haven't banged into anything. But you're little. <laughs> I don't think I'm that little. So I'm used to our RV. So I feel like uh, if you've seen the movie Tommy Boy, <laughs> the scene where he's like trying to change clothes in the bathroom <laughs> on the airplane, that's how I feel inside these RVs. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> and then I just start, I just keep running into crap. <sighs> Should get out of here before I get really hurt. It might be urgent care in it here <laughs> if we don't get out. You can't make a trip to urgent care. You're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> well, maybe before we go, we'll make some coffee. <laughs> huh? That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I think we probably had more fun than what we. Should have had. Well, yeah. And we had the place to ourselves, so we had more fun. And I'm hurt. You are. I, I mean, I just can't take you anywhere. I cracked my head like three times, cracked my shin, cracked my knee. This is tight quarters, man. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's it from the RV and manufactured home museum yeah. and hall of fame not motorhome i said motorhome beginning did you i didn't even catch that it's manufactured home it said just says mh on the sign so uh, i assumed it was motorhome but then you get inside it's manufactured, manufactured. home because they're building on an extension for the manufactured home hall of fame which is coming i think next year no july of 22. okay so later on this summer yeah okay so if you're here past july of 2022 then you can go You'll look at manufactured home hall of fame along with the rv stuff yeah super fun super cool worth doing it's interesting to see what that time thought was luxury and yeah and how it all evolved yeah very interesting stuff very cool if you're in elkhart indiana or anywhere close you definitely got to stop in here oh yeah if you're an rv or an rv enthusiast and it doesn't matter if you're full-time part-time most time weekender you got to yeah. come yeah check out some of these old vintage rvs we couldn't show you everything no there's just too much to show yeah so you got to come see it for yourself but anyway, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.